The view from a tree stand can be awesome, and it's a very effective technique for hunting white-tailed deer, but there are times and locations where being on the ground is a better plan. The shallow pit blind hunting technique has been around for a long time, yet many of today's hunters don't know about it. I began using shallow pit blinds as my plan B for those days when the wind was too strong or the temperature too cold to make sitting in a tree stand enjoyable. It didn't take me long to realize that it should be my plan A because it's a very versatile and productive technique. Most experienced hunters know that a deer will walk by you within feet if you hold still. Being comfortable so you can hold still is a big part of the plan. So this technique is going to allow you to hunt just about anywhere. You have to be able to dig a hole about a foot deep, so there are some locations where it's not going to work for you. Most of the time, it's going to work just fine. What it does is it makes you comfortable, because it's just like sitting in a chair. You put your feet in the hole in the ground, and you can hold still for a long time. Using a padded seat helps a bunch too. It makes you shorter. The top of your head is going to be about three feet off the ground, and that makes it easier to hide. You'll eventually learn how much cover you need in front of and behind you, to have deer walk by you within feet and be able to get off a shot. It's also important to remember that you can allow a deer to pass your location, then you can stand up in that hole and have a great shot at a quartering away animal. A lot of times the shooting lanes at ground level are already there. You certainly won't need a pole saw to get clear shooting. In the woods the animals have done a lot of the pruning and shade from the canopy has done a lot of it too. If you are hunting in grass or cattails, you can stomp down a lane through that cover so you can have a clear shot. It's a very quiet way to hunt, especially compared to hunting from a tree stand. Once your hole is dug, you can get there and into your blind virtually silently. There are no metallic tinks like you get with a tree stand. This is important if you're hunting near bedding areas. It's a very exciting way to hunt. You have animals within feet, especially for young hunters. They should learn how to hunt from the ground. They need to learn when to hold still, and it develops an appreciation for the animal senses. There are times and places where being elevated provides real advantages, like when you can look down into thick cover, or when a long vista allows shooting with a long range weapon. But you can use a shallow pit blind technique anywhere, which means you can get right into the thick stuff. In thick stuff, limited vision is something you're going to have to get used to. If you are hearing animals approach before you are seeing them approach, you're on the right track. Because this technique requires a small footprint, you can use it in hilly terrain on slopes. Use the dirt from the hole to level the spot. All you need is a little bench, about two feet by four feet. Because it's so versatile, you can set up for any wind direction or thermal direction and stay downwind of your target animal. The right shovel makes using this method much more enjoyable. If you do encounter a root, you'll be able to go right through it. It's not as hard as you think when you use the right tools. There are ethics with this technique. You need to know the regulations where you're hunting, so you make sure it's legal. If on private land, you have to get permission from the landowner. And if you leave that location, you need to be able to cover that hole with something strong enough to protect animals and people. When you're done with that location, you have to put the dirt back in the hole, fill it in so it looks like you were never there. The in-ground blind improves the shallow pit blind technique because it keeps the rain out, so you can use it in any weather. If you have two inches of rain the night before your hunt, you won't have a muddy mess. It keeps the critters out. With a traditional shallow pit blind, just a board over hole, you can end up with animals living in your spot, and that's no fun and the in-ground blind gives you control over who gets to use your hunting spot. It's a great solution if you want to be able to depend on your location, no matter the weather, and use for many years to come. You can take this technique to any level you want. It doesn't matter whether you're a big buck specialist or a mentor teaching the sport to a new hunter, you are limited only by your own imagination as to where and how you can use it. It's a very affordable and exciting way to hunt. I really encourage you to try it. It's a blast.